Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This video is about email templates in ServiceNow platform. In this video you will learn what are email templates in ServiceNow, where they are used in ServiceNow and how to create new email templates for sending email notifications from ServiceNow platform. What are email templates in ServiceNow? Email templates allow us to send emails with predefined templates, which are reusable content for subject and body of the email notifications. For example, you are sending email notifications in one format for every type of task. In that case, rather than providing email content which is subject and body in each notification separately, you can create one template and use it in all notifications wherever you want that format. Email templates provide consistent information and save time. They can be created in rich HTML format. ServiceNow has a module of email templates and that is templates, which is under system notification application in which you can access all email templates created in the instance. You can also create new templates as well via this module. And this module can be accessed by users who have admin role in the instance. This is the form of email template in which you can provide details to create new templates for email notifications. First field of this form is name in which you can provide the name of the template you want to create. Second is table in which you can select the table of records of which email notifications will be sent. Next is subject in which you can provide the text for subject of email. Next is message HTML in which you can provide the text in HTML format. Basically, this is the body of the email. Now, if you want to send simple text message and not in HTML format, then you provide text in next field that is message text and this whatever content whatever data whatever message you will put in this particular field that will not be in html format that will be just simple text the next is sms alternate if you want users to get sms notification for same notification then you can mention the text in this field as well and if you will leave this field as empty, then whatever text you will provide in message text that will be used for SMS as well. You must be thinking that if this is a template, that how can I make some data dynamic in notification? Overall, when you create a notification, you can use some dynamic data as well with the help of variables. Similarly, in email template as well, you can access variables. That means you can access the fields which you have on that particular table you have selected for that particular template. Now, while providing these texts, which you can see in these fields, in these different fields, so you have option to select variables. And whatever data you want to populate via uh, when you want to send that notification as part of the email template that you can select that particular field you can select in this template as well. And the data will be automatically be populated when email will be sent with the help of this email template. Now, how can I use template in a notification? This is the form of notification in which you can see a field called email template and this is under what it contains section. Now this field is a reference field which shows the records from templates table and you can select the template for the notification you want to create. 
Now let's see email templates in my personal developer instance and create new template and send notification using same template. This is my personal developer instance. Now in order to access templates, you can directly go to system notifications application. Now under system no notification application, you will see this templates module. So click on this. Once you will click on this module, you will see list of available email templates in your instance. In order to create new one, you can just click on this new button and this will open up a new form of email template. So here you can see we have same fields. Now what we will do, we will start with uh, providing the name of the template. So this is for demo. So I'm just doing demo email comma dot template. That's it. Now here we have incident and I'm going to provide, uh, uh, let's say whenever I change the state, it should send a notification. But for that, maybe I will just use uh, this template. Uh, so I will just mention, um, I will, I will take the field from here. So let's, let's take number. So we will have this number right here. Uh, we have this number. So what I will do, I will just cut from here is updated. This is my template. I think it can, it can send any update basically. And here, um, I will just put, I can do like this and I can just do hello number was updated. So here I'm putting number was updated and I can put title. So if I want to show title that is short description. So I will put short description. I think I can keep like this and then I can do description or maybe I will not write it. I don't have to write it overall because if I will click on that variable, I can just show in this template automatically. So that word will also be automatically added. So we, you can see we have this description. Hello. Uh, it says this number was updated. Short description this, description this. So this is how you can just put any content you want. And what will happen when I will use this template? It will only show this data in whatever email notification you will select. So you don't have to mention these content, the subject separately. And I will show you how exactly you can do that. So I'm putting this message HTML. So I think it should be good. So I will just put maybe thanks. That's it. Demo system. And what I will do, and I'm doing it for incident, and I am going to save this. When I will save this, this particular email template will be captured in the update set. So that means now I can also move it to the next instance. So I'm done. I think I don't have to add anything. So we will see how exactly it is populating this data uh, with the template for, for basically notifications. So what I will do now, I will go to notifications and here I will create a new notification. So we will create new notification and here I can just mention demo dot email and I can select incident table because we selected incident for like then in the table in the template we also selected incident. So here I can keep, I'm not, I'm not selecting these fields. When to send, I can record inserted. Okay, I can put record updated, not on inserted. And I can, maybe I will just mention short description. Not every time maybe. It starts with email demo. And who will receive, uh, maybe I, I can just, put myself and we can also uh, put maybe assignment group. So here we have assignment group and we will also send it to assign to if it is available. And 
that's it and here i will select what will now here in what will what it will contain this is really important so if you remember i mentioned that how exactly you can use the template so here is the field where we can select that template so i will remove this one so as of now it is already showing me another template but i will do what i will do i will just click here and here we have our new template demo email dot template so i will just select that and i don't have to put anything here so normally when you create notification, you have to provide that data over here for that particular notification. But in this case, because I'm selecting this email template, I don't need to put any subject, any, any text in these two fields. Because this, when this notification will be sent, it will automatically take the template from, from this particular template which we have selected. So whatever subject, whatever body we have mentioned in this template, system will take the data from that template. How? We will see now. So I will just click on save. So we have selected the template. Once you are done with the selection of the template, now you are ready to do test. And for testing, so we mentioned the condition, it is record is updated and it should be email demo. So basically short description should start with email demo. So what I will do, I will go to here and I will just maybe I think update. Maybe I will update existing incidents. I'm opening this one because we have mentioned the condition for update, not inserted. So here I will just maybe select any user, able tutor, and here I will put email demo. This is a demo for email template. And here I can select the assignment group. So that is application development. Here I can select the group, uh, the person assigned to person. So I can select this one and here I can select short description, uh, sorry, description as well. So here and description just to show you the difference. So I think that's it. So what I will do, I will just click on save. And this should this particular this particular action should trigger that notification which we have just created with template. We didn't mention any content in the subject and body of body of that particular email notification that message text because we just selected the template. So it should send. Now I will go to email logs. So let me go to emails. So if I go to emails, and you can see here it says is updated and I open this one and you can see it is our same email demo dot email that means our new email notification which we just created it got triggered because it matched it basically uh, uh, got the condition so condition was matched and that's the reason system triggered that notification and let's see the data so if I talk about the data so we will just preview it and you can see here hello number incident was updated short description here description here now you can see and it is you can see thanks demo system now you can understand that we did not mention any data directly in the notification however it pulled all those information from the template use use the template and send that notification so that's how you can create templates. You can make the data dynamic as well with the help of templates and send notifications. So that's how you create templates in ServiceNow and use it for sending different types of notifications for, for different requirements you get from your customers and clients. If you really think then I'm able to enhance your learning experience in ServiceNow, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and share videos with your friends, with your colleagues so that they can also get more information about ServiceNow and learn the platform. Thank you and have a great day.